Rubicon Smart City is a software suite that powers heavy duty fleet operations. We first got started back in 2017. One of the first things we did was go and talk to our customers and say, what do you need? What do you want? We jumped in trucks, we did ride alongs, we sat side by side with all of the folks that are actually running the day-to-day -day operation in cities. And we learned from them about what they needed, the things that were gonna help them run their operations better. And what came out of that uh, was, was really a, a collaboration. Us working with these cities to, to build a piece of software that would meet their needs and help them to deliver the best possible service that they could. Waste collection is expensive. It's very challenging logistically, and it's very dangerous. One of the things that we wanted to do when we were initially building our software was find ways to optimize the day-to-day -day collection of waste so that we can keep vehicles on the road for the minimum amount of time possible. The city of Glendale has always been really focused from the beginning on efficiency. One of the elements that the city was really keen on as um, looking into Rubicon as their day-to-day -day operation technology provider was the idea that we could take them from an analog operation, which is a paper-heavy binders of routes, a lot of crayons drawn on these paper routes, into a digital future. We ran routes with paper routes, the drivers did, so it was hard to uh, keep track of them. We were slow moving. Back then, we weren't able to act as quick to service the city. When I first started, they had hand-drawn maps, and some of them are just horrible. You can't read them. We were more reactive instead of proactive, and meaning that staff had to track drivers and where they were at, which was very tedious. So at times, they would actually have to go out on the route and drive the route to see where a driver had completed their route, there was any misses. Went to WasteCon and we met Rubicon. We asked them several pointed questions about the routing program and uh, our team came back with positive feedback. The routing specialist, our superintendent, myself. After the demo and what I could see this was bringing and you know, what staff, the excitement of staff and all these great ideas they were bringing, um, I knew it was the perfect solution, not only for solid waste, but as part of a citywide. Now we're able to actually help other departments in finding issues, specifically potholes in the stream, or maybe street signs that are down. Um, this way, departments could take care of those before it became a major issue. What we're seeing is a, a savings in miles on the two routes that were, our two days that we've done. We've saved just under 5,000 miles. The foremen are able to manage the drivers easier from the computer, being able to send help to the drivers that need help with route assist. They know where to go. The foremen are able to watch the refuse being picked up. We are able to send the drivers, not too many, but just enough people are able to pick up the refuse. We're not overdoing it. We utilize the API to communicate to the residents where the bulk trash crews are in the specific sections of the week that they're working. We touch all, all areas of Rubicon throughout our operation. Front load, roll off, side load, bulk trash, waste audits for recycling, pre and post trips, so uh, we use community insights with sweepers. We had tremendous support from the, the department's leadership. Uh, Scott Javowden and Amy Moreno were fantastic at helping us move from the pilot phase into a, a, you know, a seven year long contract, which is still the longest contract of uh, Rubicon Smart City to date. Glendale is really uniquely positioned. They're a significantly sized city in the heart of the Phoenix area with a number of other major Arizona cities around them. And so they really set the tone for what you can do in that region and in Arizona as a whole, uh, when you, you look to digitize your operation and you commit to moving your solid waste operation and collection 
into the digital future. They're watching us. And now they're following us because we were the ones that spearheaded Arizona and we brought in Rubicon. I'm proud of that, that they have seen what your program is and how we're able to uh, prove it, it works. Glenda was lacking in the data collection side of things. And when it comes down to being able to ask for additional positions, additional equipment, the data is real important versus me just saying, we need two, two extra drivers, we need three extra trucks. The data that is collected, that Rubicon collects, actually tells the story for me. These are maps that our drivers were working off for over 20 years. We've come a long way. Our technology is a good fit because we don't require a heavy amount of installation in vehicles. Our technology can just be taken into the vehicle and drivers can be off and running. And that makes it uh, really good for a city the size in an operation the size of Houston. We have a large fleet of uh, close to 400 vehicles and one of the biggest challenges is not having that uh, transparency that technology brings us. We could not see the vehicle's life. Once they were dispatched, there was no way that we knew where they were exactly. It's a lot of ground that we have to cover. Houston is a third to fourth large city in the nation. Many times we allow employees to leave the service center, go to their assigned routes, but the issue was trying to locate those routes at any given time. Not having that technology really was problematic for our supervisory personnel. When we saw the Rubicon and how simple it was, it was just pretty much like a plug and play. You plug the system and off you go with your little tablet. It makes it so much easier for us. It's that simplicity that makes it great. Immediately after my confirmation to serve the city of Houston as the director of solid waste management, I was excited to learn the agreement to implement the Rubicon platform was adopted by the members of the Houston City Council and approved by Mayor Sylvester Turner. Its success was quickly apparent. We installed the Rubicon products and trained the entire solid waste department's workforce in only 73 days being able to plan the routes ahead of time and being able to, to assign those routes in a very efficient manner with a click of a button. In addition to that, of course, going to the field with tablets that you know exactly where your fleet are, being able to have a supervisor's app that they can dispatch at a glance. We're able to see exceptions we're able to make sure that our, our routes were completed on time and we're able to prevent those go back trips uh, from our fleet. And I think that's one of the biggest changes to our operations. The employees found that it was something that we needed and they readily embraced it as well as our leadership team. So having this program to interface with 311 system, that was also a help because it's real-time data that speaks directly to the issues that we are experiencing while the employee is on the route. Yeah, you know, we don't have to wait for something to upload, it uploads immediately and the problems are solved. The data gathered from this system has assisted us with implementing best practices to educate residents about our service schedules. These features, alongside the route digitization and the route optimization efforts, have improved the efficiency of solid waste service delivery throughout the city of Houston. Now with the system, we, we know where our trucks are. We know the behavior of our drivers. We actually know the behavior of our customers too. And it's all captured in tabular data. You can always go back and, and look at how your trucks were driving or where they were disposing or the houses that we service, any exceptions. We used to have a lot of calls of customers saying, you know, well, you did not service me or just skip my can. And having this system have prevented us to go back uh, to those, reservice those addresses. When you talk about fuel and you talk about the $50 return fee to go back and service a household, that's a cost savings in itself. So it has been really, a financial impact has been very positive for the city of Houston. 
Data is very important. Data is transparency. What data means to the city is everything. I mean, you can run statistics. You can uh, see how you are actually collecting a route. You can actually see how you're deploying routes. You can see almost even driver's behavior and customer behavior. So having a system that captures all this data and you've been able to export it, build your own reports, makes a, a, a big difference for the way that we operate now. Welcome back to America's Morning Headquarters. I'm meteorologist Jackie Jarris and reporting live in Kansas City, Missouri, where we're still feeling major impacts from our winter storm, Elliot. As you take a look behind me here, you can see the maps are up as they track the 300 snow plows that they have out on the road. We have been working with the city of Kansas City since 2019 to power their waste collection operations. And they were curious to see if we might be able to bring some of the efficiencies in routing in customer service, in service confirmation, from the waste world to the snow world. Hello, warning from Kansas City's Public Works Department tonight, entering its highest level of response from the Snow Command Center. Michael Shaw, affectionately known as the Trash Man, is the Director of Public Works. So do you prefer snow or trash with the trash? trash easily. We can pick it up and go. Snow is tough. The city will track their vehicles by GPS using this computer system to make sure they can be hitting everywhere as best they can. The information that we can generate, the data that we generate is so valuable to us. It allows us to make better and more informed decisions. It allows us to know exactly what's going on in real time uh, and also aggregate a lot of that information into something that tells a story about where our gaps are, where our weaknesses are, and how we can best improve. Rubicon allows us to actually build out a list or a system of locations we need to go with pre-treat. When we have problems during an event, uh, there could be a water main issue that's going on during the specific snow event. We'll actually know that so in advance we can actually pre-treat it around those areas to provide more coverage. One of the big things that allows us to see is what's going on, where our resources are deployed, knowing where, where the snow event is happening or the different types of event that's happening. Uh, we're able to deploy resources more effectively uh, throughout the city. We now know exactly where all of our snow removal equipment is in real time, and we can tell exactly how long it's taken to get through some of those routes. And now we can know, do we need to add more assets to certain parts of the operation? Uh, are we moving quicker than we thought through certain neighborhoods? Well, the biggest challenge was ensuring that we were on time and on task. How does the driver know what streets he's been on, what streets he hasn't been on, the timing of when he's been on those streets, you know, how much material, salt, or or calcium chloride did they put down? And so Rubicon helps us identify those things. We've seen double digit increase in citizen satisfaction because we're able to be uh, where we need to be to address the issues that we see out there. Being with the city for over 25 years, uh, this introduction of technology has been, a, been huge in the way we deliver basic services. And I think that the citizens see a significant improvement in that. Uh, and so that, that's what it's all about. We are very proud of the program and the plan that we've got in place, the technology we're using with Rubicon, the increasing uh, awareness and responsiveness of our team and our staff. And also we're, at this point, we're just building on our success. The biggest challenge everyone's having is staffing. So how do you address staffing? Here in Kansas City, we're able to use uh, other people that are not typical snowplow drivers uh, and using Rubicon, it really helps them know where to go, how to do their job, that allows us to staff up for events, but not be overstaffed throughout the entire year. One fact about our city manager is that whenever we have big snow, he's coming and driving Yeah, plowing is not my full-time job, obviously. I come here when there are big storms just to help out and support the team. Somebody hands me an iPad with a route on it and I don't have to think about it. I put it in the cab and it tells me exactly where I need to go. It tells me exactly how much I've done and how much I need to do still. I tell all of our city partners that the technology they have today is based on the feedback we receive from our clients. So we welcome that feedback. The only thing constant is change. And so we're in a consistent, that constant improvement process. And so as we change with the standards and expectations of our community, this technology allows us to be nimble and to change with the expectation our community has of us. It sets the expectation of excellence. It's not good enough to be good. We have to be great at what we do. And so our citizens expect that, and we're gonna to continue to be great and tend to strive to be as great as they need us to be.